You're watching King TV 19.
An additional 886 members of the Iraqi security forces were killed. Another 1,763 civilians were injured in June. We are consistently receiving reports of civilians being targeted, kidnapped, harassed, and killed by ISIL forces, and of indiscriminate shelling of civilian areas. We have also received reports that ISIL forces have been going door to door in Mosul, trying to forcibly recruit young men to fight against ISF. At least eight people have been killed and 13 wounded in a suicide attack in the Afghan capital of Kabul. The attack targeted a bus carrying Afghan military personnel. Right-wing activists have blocked a caravan of buses carrying undocumented immigrants to a detention center in California. The migrants had been flown into San Diego from an overcrowded detention center in Texas, but anti-immigrant activists stood in the bus's path as they tried to bring the migrants to the Southern California Border Patrol station in Marietta. To me, Obama uses them as pawns for votes, and I do not agree with that. I do not. I feel that um, he is using, he is doing this on purpose. He wants to flood our country with illegal immigrants, not just Hispanics. Uh, he's also letting Muslims come across the border. They are finding Qurans on the ground. Um, he's not closing our borders for a reason, and those borders need to be closed. The buses were rerouted to a different federal facility. In a show of solidarity with the detained migrants, the Mexican-American singer, Lupita Rivera, took part in a counter-rally against the anti-immigrant protest. Closing the borders is bad because the Latinos are not the only illegal people. The Chinese, the Americans, the Africans, the Canadians, the Europeans, there are all sorts of illegal people. There aren't any illegal people here in the United States. We are all illegal. The only legal people are the Native Americans because this is their country and foreigners came here to steal it from them. The Obama administration has asked Congress for fast-track authority and additional funding to speed up the deportation of children fleeing violence and poverty in Central America. On Tuesday, Secretary of State John Kerry met with leaders from Honduras and El Salvador and Guatemala, the home countries for most of the children who have tried to enter the United States. Speaking in Panama, Kerry said the U.S. will help tackle the causes of the immigration crisis, but renewed vows to continue the deportations. There are rules of law, and there is a process, and there is false information that is being spread about benefits that might be available to these uh, young people who are looking for that better life. And so we need to work together to communicate to our people, to try to apply the law, and most importantly, to work with each of these countries to address the fundamental underlying causes of this particular challenge. A U.S. appeals court has ruled in favor of the family of a 15-year-old Mexican shot dead by a U.S. Border Patrol agent. According to the family's complaint, Sergio Adrian Hernandez was playing with his friends on the Mexican side of the border when an agent detained one of the friends, causing Hernandez to retreat beneath the bridge. The agent, Jesus Mesa, then fired across the border into Mexico, hitting Hernandez in the face and killing him. The Obama administration argued the U.S. Constitution did not protect Hernandez because the teen was outside the United States. But in what was reportedly the first ruling of its kind, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals disagreed, allowing the family to move forward with their lawsuit against the agent. The ruling could impact at least some of the six other cases where U.S. agents have killed Mexican citizens by shooting across the border. Kentucky's become the latest state to see its same-sex marriage ban ruled illegal. On Tuesday, a federal judge ordered Kentucky to adopt marriage equality and recognize the same-sex marriages performed out of state. The ruling has been put on hold pending appeals. President Obama is urging Congress to take action on a budget crisis facing the Highway Trust Fund, which is used to finance transportation and infrastructure projects nationwide. The fund is expected to go broke by the end of the summer, threatening thousands of projects and over 700,000 jobs. Obama urged lawmakers to make an infrastructure approach priority and criticized Republicans for threatening to sue him over his use of executive action. It's not crazy. It's not socialism. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's not you know, the imperial
federal presidency or no laws are broken. We're just building roads and bridges like we've been doing for the last, I don't know, 50, 100 years. Middle class families can't wait for Republicans in Congress to do stuff. So sue me. As long as they're doing nothing, I'm not going to apologize for trying to do something. A New York City police officer imprisoned for plotting to kidnap and cannibalize women has had his conviction overturned. Gilberto Valle became known as the cannibal cop after it emerged. He'd openly fantasized about eating women in online posts and in search for recipes for cooking human flesh and for making homemade chloroform to subdue victims. But on Tuesday, a district judge ruled Valle's posts amounted to fantasy role play not an actual crime. He made a brief statement outside the courtroom. I'd like to make a very, very brief statement. I want to take this opportunity to apologize to everyone who's been hurt, shocked, and offended by my infantile actions. The judge in the case upheld a lesser charge of improperly accessing a police database to find potential victims, but it carries a term shorter than the 18 months Valle spent behind bars. Six Los Angeles Sheriff's Department officials have reportedly been found guilty of obstructing a federal probe into the abuse of prisoners and other misconduct at county jails. More than a dozen officers were indicted last year following a multi-year investigation into the systemic abuse of prisoners. The charges carried a maximum sentence of 15 years. And tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands, rallied in Hong Kong Tuesday in a call for democracy free from Chinese control. Pro-democracy activists have been organizing for local elections, prompting China to declare it has ultimate authority over the city-state. More than 500 people were arrested. It was Hong Kong's largest protest in a decade. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the war and peace report. I'm